Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Comic Book Geezers. I'm your host, Pete, and my co-host sitting right over here. Hello again, comic book fans. I'm Wild Bill, the unknown comic, and as always, I'd like to keep it that way. Welcome <laughs> back to another episode of Comic Book Geezers. Uh, today, we're doing a, another villain. We're doing the Gladiator, as per one of our viewers' requests. Someone sent us a comment to do a Gladiator villain episode. So here we are. And we're happy to do it because we both love the Gladiator, and I, I think he was a little underused, personally. But, yeah. Uh, he should have fought more villains. I'm only aware of him fighting Daredevil and Iron Man. That's yes. that's all I know. That's all I got. That's basically <laughs> it. I think he showed up a little later on and might have got involved in some other stuff, but basically he is known as a Daredevil Iron Man villain. So he okay. first appeared in 1966, so a little bit of history. This guy's name was Melvin Potter. He was originally a costume designer. Sounds like a geek. Yeah, co costume designer, but a big guy, you know. It's okay. A costume designer for, for like a movie studio in New York City, and he kind of got on the wrong side of the law, went to prison, came out of prison, and decided, you know what? Time for me to make my own costume and take matters into my own. Crime hands. pays, he decided. Crime pays, right? So he. I like his appeared. costume. Speaking of his costume, so there we have his very first appearance, 1966. Look and you'll notice he's green. Is that green and yellow? Pretty much his costume, his suit. Uh, Is that yellow? It's it's yellow and kind of like blue. It's kind of blue. I don't know. It's kind of, kind of greenish in this light, yeah. but the most important thing that stands out is the saw blades yep. on his hands. So he was a big dude. I think that in the comic they'd say he's like well in excess of six feet. Uh, he's muscle guy. Pretty good, yeah, muscle guy, pretty good fighter. Uh, but again, because he was so good at making costumes, he took like all different kinds of indestructible metals and alloys. He made like an armor. And right? He made like an armor, and then he also made these blades that had some kind of mechanism so he could... They just, spin like a, like a table saw. Exactly. So 1966, uh, Daredevil number 18, this is his first ever appearance. Uh, he wouldn't be gone for long, though, because then he would pop back in in issue number 22, just a couple issues later, where he teams up with the Tri-Man. Okay. Nice cover. All right. So there's there's the Gladiator right here. Now, he, he's always got this helmet. Yep. Like a Knight's, like Gladiator's helmet. Somehow he always winds up losing these fights with Daredevil because Daredevil is just too quick and too smart for him, whereas the Gladiator is just big and powerful, kind of lumbering. And as long as you don't get sliced by those blades yeah you can kind of outsmart kind of stay him. out of his reach so he's back again in another issue the next issue uh, this is daredevil 23 which i recently got this is the oldest daredevil in my collection now that's um, a good one that's a great cover too this is gene colin by the way yeah gene colin artwork stan lee is the writer i believe yep uh and here you'll notice it put up the first cover again yeah see the difference this looks more bluish that seems more green unless i'm going colorblind over here no but it could be just the angle. I don't know. It's kind of a greenish blue. But yeah. this is just more of a bluish white. This that is, right here, the one you're holding, is how he would look for, for kind of going for, forward. For, yeah, yeah, for the time moving forward. And then uh, I also have... Uh, Defeated by Daredevil. Yeah, so he bounces over into Iron Man. And uh, this is the first appearance in Iron Man. Uh, I should say the Gladiator. Now notice the look of more silver. A little bit. They got the same logo on his chest. Mm-hmm. But, it, you know, it's subtly different, but I don't care. Yeah, I wonder who's the uh, artist on that cover there. For I don't know. I forget who was drawing Iron Man at the time. Was that, was that Colin drawing Iron Man? Or it's, not yet. I don't remember. I'm not sure. That's, I early. That's I really early. Homework. I should open this book first. It's but really early. I don't know. You want to know who's the artist on the inside? That could still be different than the cover, correct? Yeah, true, true. All right. Um, but that's a, a great Gladiator cover right there. That's one of my favorites. He, that story carries on into issue eight. And he would show up later on in other issues, which I don't, I didn't pull out. Because we're going to do an Iron Man episode later. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he shows up again in Daredevil later on. What's this? Back at number 63. So here again, look, costume color a little bit different. All right. Well, this one's just a headshot. Let me come back to this other one. Yeah. That one, he's just a lot lighter now. So you see here, it, as yours is like yellowish here, it's a little more like a gold. Um, and the pants, again, are a little bit different color. But, you know, you got the same whirling blades. Yeah. Same, you know. That's his main weapon. Those, those. Still Melvin Potter, right? Yeah. Those blades are his trademark. Yeah. That's what sets him apart. He was notorious as a villain who would who would hook up with other villains who were like masterminds, and they were like, "We're going to use him for his uh, something strength. Something like this? And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Daredevil. This is 85. It's a Gil Kane cover right there. Look at that. I don't, I don't, I read this a while ago, but I don't know who this is. Yeah, I don't know. I forget. 
It's like Karen Page in a weird green costume. <laughs> it's like her leprechaun outfit. Yeah, it could be St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> That's I'm not like. sure. <laughs> this one I got from our buddy Paul. All right. And then, what do you got there? Well, right around, yeah, right around the same time, maybe a little bit earlier, uh, Daredevil King Size Special number one. So this is the creation of the Emissaries of Evil And team. what is that, like 1970? Yeah, I, I, think, I think a little bit earlier, yeah, because okay. this, uh, it's 25 cents because this was a like a double so, issue. Okay, so it was probably still 12 cent books at the time. So this was Electro putting together a super team. So, of course, Electro mm -hmm. was a big uh, villain of Spider-Man, but also fought Daredevil early yes. on. And you got what is the, the, the frog, right? Was that where it's the toad? What the hell the was toad, that? I think the it was. The toad. Uh, the Stilt Man, the Mar Marauder, right? Is that this guy's name? Or the, the Matador, and then up top you got the Gladiator. Look at that. This is pretty cool. And somehow Daredevil winds up beating these guys all Again, by like, himself. All by himself. So this was like the five sinister, on one. Five on one. So I really wouldn't him. worry. I wouldn't really count the Toad. I, I just no, he's have, useless. Yeah, he, he is. Oh, he's got his little springy shoes. The one you got to worry about is Electro and the Stilt Man here, and the Gladiator. This guy's useless too. The the, Mad, the Matador, whatever, oh, his Matador? Name, whatever his name is. Yeah. What's he do? Hypnotize you with the cape? Yeah, I, just, I don't, <laughs> I don't even remember. But this is not quite as formidable a team as the Sinister Six that I have. The second issue of King Size Special, but it has nothing to do with the Gladiator. I digress. Uh -huh. This is perhaps the best cover ever to feature the glide. At least it's one of my favorites. For Daredevil. Yeah, that's that's great. That, is that a John? I think that's a Johnny Romita cover. I think. Yeah. It looks like his. Yeah, it looks because it looks, it looks like very like the spider. Yeah, it looks like the spider. I, I'd have Did to you want to open this? You mentioned you wanted to open this up before we started the table. You want to take a look in there? I do. See who the artist is. I do. Should I move on to the next book while go, we're talking about that? Or should I hold on? Yeah, go for it. The last I have of the Gladiator in my collection is uh, issue 166. This is Frank Miller's run of Daredevil. I'm not sure Frank. I'm not sure who did the cover on this. I didn't do my homework, but I know Frank Miller is the writer on this. Kind of looks like his art. It could be. I know there's a lot of comic book fans out there that hate this advertisement on the top. Yeah, oh, and I'm one of them. <laughs> Despise that stuff they did in the early yeah. days. Oh my god, it, it's a waste. Yeah. They should have put it on the back, right? They should have, or on the or, or, or on the all. inside of the front cover. See, I don't know. Who, I'm, I'm almost positive this is a uh, Ramita. It's a Ramita cover, but Bob Brown actually did the art on the inside. On the inside, now this one is definitely. Let's see here. Danny O'Neill is the editor. Klaus Jansen. Klaus. Inks, so he did the inks. Frank Miller. Yeah. Frank Miller. There it is. Oh, just in case you're looking. Curious. There's the inside. Let's see what else we got for it since I opened it. Oh. Ooh. I like to focus on that. Get a, get a nice depiction of the gladiator for our viewers here. Let's from see. Mr. Miller. Ha! Ah, here he's putting someone in a bear hold. Yeah. Bear hug. Right he was, without his helmet, he's actually, he was a bald dude. There you go. All right, let's see. It's going to get more intense. Ah! Look at this. Looks like the saw blade is shooting off like a slingshot. <laughs> see that? <laughs> Something to look out for. There he is, right? Yep. That's him. This mug. Melvin. Melvin, Melvin Potter. Potter. Worst name ever. Well, this is actually worse than that, but that's not a good one. Yeah, so I'm surprised like the Gladiator didn't like fight like the Punisher and, and guys like that as well. I thought, oh, right, or Spider-Man. Spider yeah, that would have totally been, been great against Spider-Man. Oh, here we go. There we go. All right. So you got him flexing. They always do this little, see the little silver swishy mark here on point one pinky? Mm -hmm. That panel? Yep. And look at that circular arc. And there's always this, too, going on between him and Daredevil where they dive into each other. Like yeah. the way a linebacker tackles a quarterback. Yep. You know? Let's see what else we can get here. I know we had a trident. Here it is. In this particular cover, we see him with a trident, and here he is going for it. So a lot of action always with the gladiator fighting Daredevil. Interestingly enough, in the uh, season three of Daredevil on Netflix, the, the actual Melvin Potter character did show up, and he actually is the guy who created Daredevil's costume for him. But he didn't actually take over the persona of the gladiator in the film but melvin potter was the guy that daredevil went to all the time to fix up his costume and build him a new man i saw the first two stuff. seasons yeah. i didn't know that yeah yeah he was the guy that he went to all the time. oh really he winds up turning against him in season three but uh, he, and he knows all his tricks uh -huh. like uh -huh. how what, he knows everything about daredevil's gadgets 
all of it. Yeah. Wow. So you know, it's interesting to think if they would have continued on with the Daredevil series, if it was, if they weren't all canceled by Netflix, um, that if they would have brought him back as the Gladiator in the future. So you never know. Maybe at some point, if they, if maybe Marvel they'll has, see this episode and reconsider. I doubt that it. Would, that would be nice. <laughs> and also, there, we might as well mention there is another current Gladiator character. This this Gladiator villain is kind of nowhere to be found nowadays. But there is another Gladiator out there. I think that's like a, a cosmic character or something like that that I had never heard of. And so what year did he come out in I'm, the Marvel Universe? I'm guessing maybe in the 90s or something like really? that. Really? No connection to this guy. No connection to Melvin Potter. So Does he fight the same heroes? I don't think so. Really? So maybe if some of you know some information about the new Gladiator, who's not this Gladiator, send it in the comments. Send it in the comments. We'd love to know. I mean, I can do the research too, but I'd like to hear from you guys. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, that's what we got for the Gladiator. Another great villain. We got. Uh, we're going to do another villain in a couple weeks. We're talking about doing the Absorbing Man, and there's so many other great ones. So we definitely uh, want to get around to doing Morbius as well. That's right, Morbius is coming up as well. And another the kind of anti-hero, right? But uh, still yeah. a good character. Good character, and. Um, We've seen that you guys liked our Wacky Packages episodes, and we just did a Toys Merchandise episode. And sticking in that genre, I would like to do a tribute to a cartoonist, Gary Larson, The Far Side. So stay tuned for that one. That's coming up. So uh, this is on Facebook, guys. Check us out over there. We post a lot of cool pictures of comics and stuff like that. Bill's got uh, an Instagram page. You want to tell him about that? That's uh, WildBill1878. You can find me on there. I think I got underscores between my names. Wild oh. underscore Bill underscore 1878. I'm on, and all I do is post pictures of my comics and plug the show, Comic Book Geezers. I have over 500 posts from cool. books from my collection. So thanks for watching, gang. And as always, we appreciate your views and your subscriptions. And uh, we'll see you again. I'm Wild see Bill you. saying take care. Take Bye. care, guys. <laughs>